Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts another reading vlog, so stay tuned. So it is Wednesday, May 13th, and I got another birthday package in the mail, so I wanted to do a little vlog and open this up. I have a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Um, tomorrow, I'm driving my minivan from Chattanooga all the way down to Mobile, Alabama, because my sister is purchasing my van, and then the next day my mom is driving me back up here um we're gonna leave bright and early in the morning so we get here in time for becca and possibly my in-laws to show up for a birthday dinner for becca and then don't have really anything planned on saturday and then sunday i'm jumping from a plane at fourteen thousand feet I'm doing that. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I'll show any of the jumping out of a plane in this vlog because I'm going to do an entire separate video for that event, but I might give you a little sneak peek. Anyway, I have this gift that was sent to me. I believe this was sent to me by Nicole Bannister. She sent me three I, well three came in my last vlog and she told me she sent me a total of six so I'm guessing I have this and then two others coming from her as well and I did say in my last vlog that as more arrived I would continue my vlog or I would start another vlog so I wanted to open this up and see what I got Okay, yes, this is from Nicole, and I also said in my last vlog that she has a fairly new booktube channel, and I will make sure to link her down below if you want to check her out, but she sent me Thief of Ka Karaman, I think that's how you say that, Fairy Tales of Folkshore Book 1 by Lucy Tempest. And isn't this just so pretty? I came across this on Amazon and I was just like, I thought this whole series just sounded so interesting and love this cover. I love fairy tales. They're just, I love them. Okay, let me read this and so you can see what it's about. You have been summoned to Sunstone Palace to compete as one of 50 in our search for the future queen of Karaman. Ka Karaman. After years on the run, Adelaide thinks her lonely and dangerous life as a thief is finally over, but her world is upended when a witch steals her away to the faraway kingdom of Karaman to perform an impossible heist. If she fails, her newfound family would be sacrificed to a beast. To complete her mission, she is forced to assume the role of a noblewoman and enter a royal competition. The prize is the hand of the elusive crown prince. Elimination means certain death. As the witch's literal deadline approaches, Adelaide makes one last desperate attempt to save the day and escape to a new life with Cyrus, the handsome and mysterious fellow thief who stole her heart. But everything falls apart when the prince finally shows himself. I think this is gonna be so good and I'm so excited this is like a little bit Beauty and the Beast um, a little bit it's just like fairy tales mixed together and then throw in some selection or like the bachelor and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this so thank you so much for this Nicole I'm so excited to read this Oh, and there is a little map in here. Cool. Yay, thank you. Okay, so it is currently quarter after 11 p.m. So I need to be going to bed because I'm getting up bright and early tomorrow. But I wanted to get this vlog started. 
I'm still working on reading what I was reading during the last vlog, which is A Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin. I'm currently 71% into that. Um, I'm listening to it at 1.8 speed, and I have a little over seven and a half hours at that speed. But I'm hoping that I'll actually get this done tomorrow on my way to Mobile. Fingers crossed. Okay, I gotta go to bed. I will talk to you probably tomorrow. So it's 10.50. I made it to Mobile, Alabama. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had some issues on my way of getting down here. Um, it wasn't far from my house. My car started smoking. <laughs> Turns out I needed to get the brakes and rotors and one of the calipers replaced. Yeah, so that kind of delayed my trip. But while I was waiting on that to get done and the entire drive down here, I listened to the rest of Storm of Swords and I'm happy to say that I completed it. Finally, it only took me 10 days <laughs> to read that book, which is ridiculous. But it's a long freaking book. <laughs> I mean, I guess 10 days that averages like 110 pages a day. Or no, 117 pages a day. So, okay, that's not terrible. But still, that took long, like way too long. However, I know I said in my last vlog that I didn't think I would continue the series. Well, and then at the end I was like, well, maybe I will. I think I will because this book kind of changed my mind on the series and I, I think this one has been my favorite so far and I've gotten like a little bit more invested in some of the characters. I love Tyrion. He is like my favorite character. He's so funny and he's got he's got a really good heart. Like he's the only good Lannister I think. He's got a really good heart and yeah. I'm just finally getting to that point where it's not all just blah 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 anymore. And uh, so I think I will continue the series. Overall I give this book a 3.5 which is better than I think I've given the first two books. And yeah I'll continue. So tomorrow my mom and I are driving back to Chattanooga and we're going to listen to the audiobook of The Reader by Tracy Chi. I went through uh, some of my books and found, you know, saw what I had in audiobook and let my mom, like told my mom about all of them and that's what she picked. So we will be listening to that. I don't know if we'll be able to finish it on the way there. But I'm sure we'll get it done this weekend. And yeah, tomorrow is going to be pretty much just driving. And then Becca's birthday dinner. So I don't know how much updating I'll actually get around to doing. Don't know if I'll vlog any of the birthday dinner. But really, that's all I have as far as an update goes. I need to go and clean my face and go to bed because we're getting up bright and early. So I will talk to you later. So it is now Sunday, uh, May 17th, and well, I'm back home, and we had Xander, I mean not Xander's, Becca's birthday dinner, and the next day um, was Becca's actual birthday, yesterday, and she took her girlfriend on a hike and proposed. So Becca is now engaged and uh, I didn't film anything. I, I wasn't there for the proposal or anything that she put that on Facebook. We already knew it was going to happen. She had told us beforehand, but, um, but yeah, uh, I just, I, Marty's parents are here. My mom's here. Uh, we've all just been hanging out and I haven't really filmed because we're all just hanging out but I did have a couple of things I wanted to show you so Marty um he 
I had a birthday gift made for me and it wasn't gonna be here in time for my birthday, but it did arrive, I guess, the day I was coming back from Mobile. And so I got to open that and I wanted to show you and I love it. It's small, but it's, there's, there's thought in it and I love it. He got me a coffee mug and he had a coffee mug made and it says, let's see if I can get it to focus. Here we go. Remember to always be completely you. I love it so much. I'm just like, I just thought that was really sweet. Also, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I am a once upon a book club VIP, uh, meaning, or yeah, VIP. I'm like a rep kind of thing. It's not really a rep, but sort of, uh, for once upon a book club. And I absolutely freaking love that box. And I also have multiple phone cases from their Once Upon a Book case. And I think, though I'm not 100% certain, don't quote me on this, you can try it. Um, you might be able to use my code for the case or for the case subscription box, I don't know. Um, I used to get the subscription box for the case a while back, but I just ended up getting so many phone cases and I, I didn't really need a whole bunch of them. The subscription box is a great deal though because you get, it's pretty much the price of just the case by itself. <laughs> just my mom. <laughs> but um, you get a couple extra things in it. Um, but then I got a new phone and I don't have my cool bookish phone case. So I ordered me another one and I thought I would show you on camera looks like this the box is so stinking cute now if you get the subscription box it doesn't come in this it comes in a bigger box because it has like i said other stuff with it but uh this is, little box is just too cute so with the subscription box you don't know what you're gonna get each month but if you just go you can like to their website you can order whichever one you want and that's what i did this time and i got Cinderella. I thought this was really cute. And y'all know me in fairy tales and fairy tale retellings. On the back there's a little quote. It says, For each dawn she found new hope that someday her dreams of happiness would come true. Cinderella. And inside looks like this. You have a place for your cards. It comes with a screen protector and a little cloth to clean it. And this comes out that's uh, their little design company, which is also run by the um, Once Upon a Book Club people. I don't know if this will work through the video or not, but here's this code. Anyway, Marty suggested I get another one of these because of uh, having my cards or having my wallet or whatever in a place that I can't locate it if I lose it. Um, whereas I can locate my phone if I lose that. So, I got another one. Also, today is the day that my mother, my mama, look at her shirt. I will go diving here or there. I will go diving everywhere. We go scuba diving together. <laughs> and now we're gonna go skydiving together. Yeah, today is that day. So I'm going to do a completely separate video for our skydiving adventures. However, <clears throat> I may show a little clip of something in this one. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing here in just a little while. So I've got to go and get the rest of our stuff ready and, um, you know, sign my will all that good stuff <laughs> uh i guess i'll just talk to you guys later hopefully hopefully i survived this yeah never done it before kind of terrified but really excited okay talk to you later we are on our way
Are you excited, Mom? I am, I am. Are you excited to watch this, Marty? Yes. <laughs> jumped out of a plane holy cow it was incredible it was fun it was it was a lot of fun we went Woo! <laughs> I think I literally only screamed for like half a second and then I was just like <laughs> it was cool and um yeah I, keep an eye out for uh that video it, I don't know how long exactly it'll take them to get the footage to me and for me to edit it with my other footage. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a cool video of us jumping out of a plane at 14,000 feet, which is insane. It was crazy. It was funny because I thought we were getting close to the point where um, we were going to jump. And then the guy that I'm strapped to says, we're about halfway there. And I'm like halfway <laughs> we were almost to the clouds and we were halfway so we actually were way above the clouds when we jumped the scariest part was not actually the fall or when the parachute opened or any of that that wasn't the scary part for me the scary part oh i was the first one off the plane i was second I, because of where i was sitting in the plane i had no option but to be the first person off the plane <laughs> but um the scariest part was that scooting to the edge uh, and of the door being you open. You dangle your feet off the edge. Yeah, you, you're sitting on the edge with your feet hanging off and kind of tucked under the plane. Getting in that position was the scariest part. Everything else was amazing. Like, so, so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we look like that. <laughs> but it was, oh my gosh, it was so much fun. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> okay, so it is Monday, May 18th, which means everybody's gone. All that's left here is me and Marty. Xander's gone home with um, his grandparents, his, uh, Marty's parents. He's gone to spend the summer with them. And my mom went home today, and now it's just me and Marty. And um, I'm really looking forward to this week because Marty actually took uh, the week off. So we're going to have a week together. I don't know what we're going to do. Probably not going to go anywhere, but we're going to have the week together. And it's just, I'm so excited. And I do have some like little bit of a disappointing news. And that is my grand European vacation thing that I was going to do this summer pretty much gonna have to cancel that because from what I've gathered uh, Europe is or France is which is where I was supposed to be flying in is gonna be closed um, for international travel really for a while still and a lot of the other countries are gonna be closed for a while and when they do start opening up, it's just going to be to like people that are already in Europe, but um, you know, other connecting countries and stuff. And then there's also going to be countries that do end up opening their doors. You come in, you're going to have to like quarantine for two weeks. <sighs> I think I'm, I'm pretty much to the point where I, I'm pretty sure I have to cancel, which is a bummer. But, it's okay. Anyway, last night, my mom and I finished listening to, and I kind of was reading along in the book, of The Reader by Tracy Chi, and that book was so good. We both give it five stars. You, I highly recommend physically reading the book. Or if you're going to listen to the audiobook, follow along in the book. Because there are a lot of things in the book that you don't pick up on in the audiobook. Like things that are marked out. Uh, if you haven't noticed, like if you've read it and you didn't notice this 
when reading the physical copy. Hold on, let me show you something. Hold on. Okay, so when listening to the audiobook, I kept having to go back, um, or I had to pause or go back a little bit, so we were like fully understanding what was going on in this book. And eventually towards the end, I was actually following along in the book and I was noticing things that uh, I hadn't noticed while listening. But one of the things I found was really, really interesting. Let me find a page. Some of the pages, like page 262, for example. Let's see if I can get this to focus. They have a little word next to the page number and if you go through the entire book and re you read all the words that are at the page numbers there's like a hidden message which was really cool. This was such a fun book. I'm really 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 looking forward to reading the next one which is Speaker or The Speaker. Okay so this has a uh, I don't know if it's really a trope or what, but it's a thing I like in some books, and that is a book within a book, and this does have that, which is another reason why following it along in the book or just reading the physical book is the better choice, because when you're listening to the audiobook, you don't realize when uh, it's at reading the book and when it's um, actually what's going on. That gets complicated. But our main character, Sephia, um, she has witnessed her father die and she's groomed to um, go through this secret passage and escape and she's kind of kept hidden from people like most of her life. She has a very sheltered life. She doesn't um, get to play with other kids her age and things like that. And as I said, she witnesses her father murdered when she's like nine. And then she escapes to her Aunt Nin. And her Aunt Nin is a very skilled thief. And they call her the locksmith. And she raises Sephia. She teaches her some of the trade. And they kind of live on the lamb and then one day Nin is taken by the same people that hurt her father and so Sephia sets out to save Nin and get revenge and find out what happened to her parents like why this happened to her father and there's also this book that when she's escaping after her father was killed, um, she found this book that was kind of in the path that she had to take to escape. And it's the only thing that she has from her parents. And she's kept it with her all of these years. And after Nin has been taken, she starts figuring out well, what this book is because they're in a society where people can't read or write or any of that and she didn't realize it but her mother was teaching her to read at a very young age so that eventually she could figure out how to read this book and uh, there's magic in words and I, I really really loved it. It was very complicated with listening to, but it was so good. And I was like constantly making guesses on what I thought was going on and who this her was that was mentioned in the book. And yeah, it was really good. And I really, 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 really don't know if I can wait for my mom to read the second one because I just, I, I don't want to read it now. <laughs> So five stars for that. So I went to the post office today to see if any other of the gifts that Nicole had sent or um, 
somebody else had also told me that they were sending a gift for my birthday and I I don't know if they did or not but I haven't received anything else and I don't know how much longer I want to continue out this vlog because I feel like there might be quite a bit of footage already so I think I'm going to end this after I film this whole clip here and then if more do come in I will do another vlog but I have two big things of books to show you so last last month or whenever it was that I went to my mom's house yeah it was last month she gave me this bag of books and then I forgot to bring them home so when she came or when we came back from delivering the van she brought me the bag of books or she brought along with us the bag of books but also an entire box of books so I'm not going to tell you about every single book because there are a lot of them I'll save that for uh, my May haul video whenever I do that but I will go through and show you the titles and all that so the first one is Summer Island by Kristen Hanna it's a paperback and then we have Between Sisters by Kristen Hanna also a paperback um there's two copies of Between Sisters. Okay. Uh, Sunshine Beach by Wendy Wax. To Have and to Hold by Jane Green. The Beach House Coming Home by Georgia Brockoven. A Million Little Things by Susan Mallory. <laughs> Somebody wrote in here, very good. Return to the Beach House by Georgia Bachoven. Bachoven? No. On Second Thought by Kristen Higgins. The Pilot's Wife by Anita Shreve. So far these are all paperbacks. Uh, the Book Club by Mary Alice Monroe. Savannah Grace by H.A. Olson. Saving Sarah by H.A. Olson. Lost and Found Sisters by Jill Chalvis. Henry's Sister, or Henry's Sisters by Kathy Lamb. Oh, this one's a little <laughs> misshaped. Um, Plantation by Dorothea Benton Frank. The Floramba Ladies Auxiliary and Sewing Circle by Lewis Battle. A Trip to the Beach, Living on Island Time in the Caribbean by Melinda Blanchard and Robert Blanchard. The Sea Sprite Inn by Lynette Adair. And Summerland by Ellen... Hildebrand. I actually have some other books by her, I believe. Okay, so that's all that's in this bag here. Now for this box, which has a mix of, it looks like paperbacks and hardbacks. So the first one is The Next Best Thing by Jennifer Weiner. Really old looking cookbook. America's Favorite Recipes, Sweet Favorites Edition, including party beverages. Look how old this cookbook looks. Oh my goodness. When did this come out? It doesn't say when it came out, but I have a feeling this thing is old. But that's pretty cool, actually. Okay, then we got Crossword Puzzles Volume 3, Super Jumbo Big Print. It looks like they did the first six, and then they did a couple of answers on a few, and nothing past 11, so all of this is empty. I'll probably give this to Marty, because 
This is something he would be interested in, but not really me. I'm not a crossword puzzles person. Um, <laughs> I haven't looked at anything in these boxes, so this is new for me too. <laughs> okay, we have the Mayo Clinic Healthy Weight Plan, complete with nutrition and exercise tips, slim down menus, and recipes. It's a little bitty skinny thing. Dang, this was like ten dollars for this little thing but i mean cool i am trying to lose weight and all that so i'll definitely check that out uh okay more dieting kind of books permanent results without permanent dieting workbook the curves weight loss method okay uh this is a it looks like a, a cookbook that was created by some group, the Apperson OWC, proudly presents War and Peas, 1993. It's just a, a little cookbook somebody put together. Okay. Then we have favorite recipes straight from the heart. Walters Serving Church School and organi Civic Organizations. Oh, recipes compiled by members of the Edgewood Area Officers Wives Club, 1989 to 90. <laughs> All right, then we have The Lemon Sisters by Jill Chalvis. Uh... Clock Dance by Ann Tyler. Clam Bakes and Fish Fries. 23 All-American Seafood Celebrations. <laughs> There's a little box with uh, four cinnamon scented votives. <laughs> I think those must have gotten put in there by accident. The world's best kept diet secrets. Lose weight quickly, safely, and permanently. Sugar Bust for Life. Cookbook and companion guide by the family, family, famous family of good food. Over 400 recipes, menus, red wine lists, brand names, and more for weight loss, energy, diabetes, and cholesterol control, and an easy, healthful lifestyle. Alright. I actually will look through these uh, diet recipes and cookbooks and stuff because I mean they could be helpful. Uh, next is I think maybe it goes along with this other curves thing but it's permanent results without permanent dieting. The curves weight loss method. So another thing. Uh, Three Wishes by Leanne Moriarty. The Last Anniversary by Leanne Moriarty. Dr. Atkins New Diet Revolution. The amazing no hunger weight loss plan that has helped millions lose weight and keep it off. Oh gosh, I hope this is nothing important. Okay, <laughs> I was afraid somebody lost their glasses. Uh, but the glasses case. Then we've got To the Nines by Janet Evan Evanit Evanovich. Weight Watchers International Cookbook. <laughs> this one looks old too. 1977. Uh, sugar Busters. Cut sugar to trim fat, lose weight, lower your cholesterol, achieve optimal wellness, increase your energy, help treat diabetes and other diseases. Featuring easy recipes from New Orleans top restaurants and a 14-day meal plan. Okay, so the next five books in here are, um, well, they're Reader's Digest Select Editions, which means there are four I think full-length 
novels packed into one hardcover. Um, so this one has The Wrong Side of Goodbye by Michael Connolly, Miramar Bay by Davis Bunn, Triple Crown by Felix Francis, and The Mistletoe Secret by Richard Paul Evans. And let me set this there. The next one has The Bad Daughter by Joy Fielding, The Recipe Box by Viola Shipman, The First Family by Michael Palmer and Daniel Palmer, and Collard by David Rosenfeld. Next has The Wanted by Robert Krayas, Rise and Shine Benedict Stone by Phaedra Patrick, The Vanishing Season by Joanna Schaffhausen, Schaffhausen. Um, Talk to the Paw by Melinda Metz. Then the next one has Personal by Lee Child, You Knew Me When by Emily Leibert, The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna, and Stargazing by Linda Gillard. And then the last one here has, which is actually a different size than the others, um, but this last one has Forever Friday by Timothy Lewis, The Rosie Project by Grammy Simison, Deadline by Sandra Brown, and The Melody of Secrets by Jeffrey Stepakoff. That's what this one looks like. Here's the, the difference, like, in the sizes and stuff of these. And it says the book's on the spine as well. I guess it's just really densely packed, and that's how they managed to get four books into one. This one, last one here is... Like 573 pages, but somehow it's all four of those books. Okay, that's a lot of books. I don't know that I'll use all of these weight loss things, but I mean, maybe I'll, I might go through and check out the recipes and stuff. This one, for example, I probably won't keep just because most of it is just explaining the Atkins diet and all that and I'm I'm not I'm not doing any kind of set anything except for you know tracking my food and watching how many calories I eat but some of these other books I'm like really interested in I think they're gonna be a lot of fun I've heard of I know of a few of these authors like Leanne Moriarty um I've heard a lot of people talk uh, about her books and have really enjoyed them. I think I might have some of hers. I can't recall. Or maybe I've just seen them on Book Outlet. I don't know. But wow, that's a lot of books and I'm excited to get into them. Not excited to try to find a place to put them on my shelves because that is a thing I struggle with. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye!